Thank you. So, uh, good morning, everyone. I'd like to spend the next few minutes talking about uh, patient satisfaction with hand function and its determinants among those who undergo limited vasectomy. Uh, we have no interest to declare. So, uh, in the current patient-oriented healthcare system, uh, patient satisfaction has become an increasingly uh, used marker for quality of care delivered. And um, because Dupuytren's disease care and treatments are aimed at restoring function and quality of life uh, for patients, uh, this seems like a particularly appropriate measure uh, to assess treatments in Dupuytren's disease. Uh, however, the factors uh, that determine as to why some patients are satisfied, whereas others are not, uh, remain poorly understood, so we undertook a study that uh, had the purpose to identify uh, factors associated with satisfaction with hand function after treatment, and because early identification of those factors uh, could maximize the probability of uh, clinicians to intervene uh, to improve satisfaction, uh, we uh, had the purpose of identifying preoperative predictors. So we uh, use pr uh, prospectively gathered data from a total of six hand surgery practice sites in the Netherlands. Uh, we included patients undergoing limited vasectomy, both primary as well as recurrent cases, and uh, we excluded those patients who had a concomitant hand condition that could confound outcome assessments. Uh, we mailed patients before surgery at six months and one year after surgery uh, the Michigan Hand Outcomes Questionnaire and to evaluate satisfaction with hand function, we used the question that uh, specifically asked them uh, how satisfied they were about overall hand function. Uh, patients re responded to this question using a five-point Likert scale, and those uh, reporting being very satisfied or somewhat satisfied were considered satisfied, and all others were considered unsatisfied. Um, we anticipated that post-operative outcomes could uh, confound patient satisfaction, so we also assessed uh, the degree of residual contracture and complications. We then performed a uh, bivariate analysis to find possible relationships between preoperative factors that included demographics, clinical characteristics, and preoperative MHQ subscores with patient satisfaction, and all those showing an association on uh, the preliminary analysis were included in multivariate analysis to identify independent predictors. Um, after exclusion of a, uh, of a total of 42 patients, 194 remained to form a study population, and 84% uh, of those at an average of 10 months after vasectomy were satisfied with their hand function. So this table shows the preliminary uh, analysis. We found that proportionally more men than women were satisfied with their hand function, and that those who were satisfied at follow-up had higher preoperative satisfaction scores and hand appearance uh, subscores of the MHQ. All other factors were unrelated. Um, as expected, post-operative outcomes also influenced patient satisfaction. We found that satisfied patients had less residual contracture and a lower rate of complications. And uh, in the final multivariate model that accounted for uh, these differences in post-operative outcomes, we found that the MHQ preoperative score of hand appearance was the only significant predictor of satisfaction with hand function, uh, while gender approach significance, and to be more specific, uh, a 10-point higher preoperative score in hand appearance uh, uh, corresponded to a 1.4 times higher likelihood of being satisfied with hand function and males, as compared to females, were about 2.5 times as likely to be satisfied with their hand function. So uh, prior studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of vasectomy from uh, a clinician's point of view, but I think our study is one of the first to focus specifically on patient satisfaction and its determinants. Um, the 84% corresponds with previous literature, and uh, because the hand appearance uh, subscore uh, consists out of questions that ask whether patients are hampered by their hand appearance in their use or feel depressed by their hand appearance. Uh, we think that this association suggests that hand deformity uh, uh, bears functional significance and matters to patients. Um, the difference between males and females in terms of satisfaction suggests a gender disparity for uh, which we think the underlying mechanisms are probably complex. Could be that women respond differently to surgery than men or have different expectations. 
uh, but uh, until these are further, the, these mechanisms are better understood, um, we think that this finding primarily shows that you have to account for the proportion of men and women in uh, future evaluations of satisfaction. Um, however, there remained a significant amount of unexplained variance in satisfaction, so this merits further research to better understand and to identify factors other than those we found uh, for clinicians to address for improving satisfaction uh, for patients. Thank you.